I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want to get this job. You know, I was, I was fine to kind of let that one go. So I saw that you're pretty active on social media, Instagram. Is that something you like? As an actor today, I feel like there's a lot of actors, maybe that feels a little pressure to be a part of that, or do you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I adhere to all of that pressure to kind of be a, a like an influencer or any of that nonsense. I mean, I think I, I certainly take significant breaks off of posting, but when I find something that I'm passionate about or that I feel like is kind of worthwhile, um, then, you know, then I'll certainly post about it. But no, I don't know. I think it's, um, yeah, I think it's, it's, if you have a positive message to get out there, it's, it's, it's good to do that. I saw you had a post that where you said, uh, someone told you you could never work again or something like that. Yeah. And then you just took action. What, how would, for other people, there must be so many actors in your situation at that, that you felt that time. Oh, yeah. What, how would you, what would you tell those people who's in that place where people tell them that, you know, you might never work again or you, right. we might. Well, I think, um, you know, the, the, the thing to remember is that when you're told that you feel very alone and you feel like you are the sole person who's been told that. And honestly, a lot of people are told that. And if you are able to kind of you take that in and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to use what you just said as fuel to my fire. And I'm going to, you know, I'm going to just like use that as rocket fuel to just carry me as far as I possibly can then, you know, use it and pay them no mind and just watch them, uh, make them watch you succeed, you know? So I think you made a vision board or something. I think I saw you. Oh, yeah, sure did. You? Yeah. In do you fact, still do that? Um, yeah. I, I mean, every once in a while, it's like, uh, you know, I'll kind of like write in my journal. But I, before Barry came along, I, I had a notebook and I just wrote down, you know, when I was really not sure if I was going to work again. I was just like, I might as well write down my ideal job. So I wrote down playing a character that I really love with people who I really care about um, on a show that's really well written and I want it to be on HBO. Yeah, and I wrote down HBO like like 15 times and, and then uh, Barry. Fantastic. It happened. I know. Was, How long after did that happen from you made that? Uh, I think probably like a year. Yeah, Good so you gotta be patient, you know. A year isn't that long. I guess it's not that long, you know. Good to know. I'll make that vision board. <laughs> yeah, do it, seriously. <laughs> I'm not asking you to help me with this. I'm telling you. Come on, bro. You, me. So your, your character is obviously the funniest guy in the show, I think, oh, for sure. Well, and his you. accent is <laughs> so funny Thanks. because it's a little bit all over the place. <laughs> a little all over the place, yes. <laughs> Where did you, did you just pick a little bit here and there? Or no, I mean, I, I certainly watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, that was <laughs> certainly a resource for me that I... Uh, or, or rather like a rabbit hole that I just fell down. Uh, so I certainly kind of studied a lot that way. We had a, uh, a specialist come in to kind of help help with certain sounds. But then again, it, it's really difficult when you have to start improv and going off the script, you know, when oh, Bill yeah. will like throw you a curveball and you just have to react with something that's not, you know, that's not planned. It's, um, yeah, it takes some difficulty. But try to memorize all the sounds in my mouth and you know, hope for the best. So he does that a lot. Oh, he, yeah, he's been known to do that. He's a, yeah, he's a troublemaker in the best way possible because I think he, you know, he just wants the kind of most uh, vibrant and spontaneous thing. So he's not afraid to kind of, you know, uh, go off the script. But you know what? Neither am I, Bill. Neither am I. You're never going to look at you the same way again. How can you not laugh? I mean, just watching it, I'm like, how can you do this without just like bursting out? Oh, there are certainly times. I mean, there are scenes, you know, especially like me and Bill, where we're just, we are just like having a really hard time getting through a scene because we can barely keep it together. But uh, those, those are the best times, you know, where we're just having, having a blast, you know? That's when you know that it's, what you're working on is really fun. Excuse me, sir. Do you have these pants in size medium? Those are women's pants. Shit. So do you have a technique? Because Kristen Wiig told me once that she presses a finger like into her thumb. Oh, pain? Start, yes. Yes, the so pain. That, so that she would like try and... and the pain, yeah, the pain aspect is fun. I mean, sometimes I'll go pretty deep into kind of like shaming myself, being like, listen, these people have to get home. This crew has to get home. A lot of them have like worried family members. They've got stuff to do. Right now we're wasting their time. And like that'll kind of sober me up slightly. 
there's a lot of really painful auditions in the show. Have you ever experienced anything like that? A painful, your, what is that? Auditions. Oh, when painful auditions. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I have no shortage of painful auditions. Um, I think, yeah, a lot of actors will just have complete horror stories. There was one audition that I had where um, I was actually blindfolded. This wasn't in the scene. They, I, they, had, they had someone blindfold me. It was like scarf, for bird books? It was a scarf that I brought in. They were like, blindfold him. And I was like, okay. And then they was like, tie his hands behind his back. And I was like, wait, 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 what, what? This is not in the script. And I was like, okay. And then he started asking me incredibly personal questions about really, really dark periods of my life. Oh, God. And I was like, you know, I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want to get this job, you know? I was, I was fine to kind of let that one go. You were like, am I getting kidnapped or? <laughs> yeah, it, honestly, that could have happened. I was like, this is, how, this is how it happens, you know what I mean? I go to an audition and then I'm gonna end up in the trunk of someone's car, you know? <sighs> Hi there, thanks for watching my channel. If you like that video, maybe there's other videos you like here on my channel. So please subscribe, share, comment, do whatever you like. Be happy, be nice to people. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye.